Okay, I wanna tell you about this really simple blood test called the lymphocyte count, which can help doctors both diagnose COVID and predict the severity. What is the lymphocyte count? It's part of a CBC, very common blood test, complete blood count, where we get white blood cells, which fight infection, you know that. Red blood cells carry oxygen to tissues. And if it's low in a CBC, that would mean anemia. So you check that blood count. We also check for platelets. Lymphocytes are part of the white blood cells. They're one of five kinds of white blood cells like neutrophils, basophils, lymphocytes. They're commonly found in lymph tissues. That's why they're called lymphocytes. And they include things like T cells and B cells. You've heard of those, right? Well, with COVID, these lymphocytes, the level is low. Most of the time, I never check that. It doesn't give me a lot of information. I don't really look at that very often in figuring out what somebody's got. But with COVID, when I was in New York in the surge, everybody had it. Coming back to California, I would observe this and I would see, oh, lymphocytes low, that's interesting. I wasn't thinking about COVID in this patient. And I would go back, talk to them again for potential exposures, think about doing the test. It helped me catch COVID in more than one patient where otherwise I would have missed it. So this low lymphocyte count and a CBC can help us not only diagnose, but it's been associated with severity. So if the lymphocyte count is less than 1.5, people have a three times the risk of ending up in the ICU and with kidney failure. An article in the journal Nature also showed that the low lymphocyte counts is one of the most consistent predictors of diagnosis, severity, and even death. So the next question is, why is the lymphocyte count low in this viral disease? There's three ideas that I wanna uh, run by you. Number one is just the virus directly kills lymphocytes. That's part of how it works. Number two is that our own, our own immune system reaction, the cytokine storm results in lower lymphocyte levels. And then the third idea is just that they become exhausted, that we run out of T cells and B cells fighting COVID. Whatever the reason, I think this is really interesting scientific stuff to geek out on because not only can it help us with diagnosis and prognosis as we learn about COVID, but we could potentially use therapies to target it, to prevent it, and to treat it. And that this, this knowledge, the science, could result in saving lives. That's just really cool stuff. Love it.